Hi there, hi, hi everyone. How are you doing? My name is Confidence and this is Confidence on Cat. I make videos about fashion, beauty, lifestyle and life experiences. So if this is your first time on here, oh please, you're welcome. <laughs> Subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you will be in the know anytime I upload new content. You know this is Confidence on Cat, right? We're unfiltered, uncensored, unapologetic and we do have a lot of fun so today i do have a someone that i cherish i've known her for a while <laughs> and she wants to ask me questions that you wouldn't dare to ask your mom but she would want to ask me so let's introduce the person going to do that <laughs> most of you know her as miss debbie right miss debbie welcome to confidence and cat thank you mama oh, <laughs> she always calls me mama that's how she calls me. It, I've never heard you call me any other way. I think it's because of the kind of role you play when major new release. Okay. Yeah. So he's a big sister. Um, so you actually cross the big sister boundary. You, you are like the go-to person that every person should have, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it is that, that person. Yeah, I, I, I didn't say that because I, I want to make My head is yeah. getting big right now. <laughs> you are sweet yeah. until you are not sweet, actually. <laughs> I am sweet until I'm like, uh-uh, we don't do this way, right? No, you, you, you don't tolerate certain things, so, yeah. But, so I'm strict. You're principled. Thank you, that's the word. I know I'm principled. Anyway, shoot. What are your questions? Your okay, so here's it, guys. <laughs> On a normal day, you know, you're in a house and you want to know certain things, but we end up learning most of the, three, the things on the street. Like we learn most of the, the things, things on the street and nowadays on, in, on social media. Mostly on social media. Mm -hmm. So at my time, it wasn't social media, but it was mostly on the street. Yeah. And the annoying thing is, you know you want to ask mama questions, but you're like, okay. How's she going to take it? Okay, and I'm like, okay, so today uh -huh. we want to ask you, uh -huh. you are like a yummy mom, you are a yummy mom. We want to know certain things, little things that are important. Now, the first one I'm going to ask you, I'm at what age? The way, you're, uh, the way you're going around it, I am a bit scared. No, don't be, don't be scared. Tasty. At what age do you think we should be having sex? Like, yeah. At what age should you start having sex? Yeah. Okay. I think having sex for me is to, I break it down in two uh, ways. Because for a, a boy going on to a man, it's a normal thing to have uh, an erection in the morning. And you know, you, you it's, it's important. If you have a boy child, you know, the age of 14, 15, and nothing's happening down there, you should be worried, okay? Exactly. But then when it comes to a girl, mm -hmm. I would say that don't let anybody rob you of that moment. So if you want your moment when you're 30 years old, that is when you should be having sex. If you're, you see, it sounds like I'm going to, I'm saying that, oh, a 60 is okay for a 16 year old to have sex. But what I'm trying to say is that if a 16 year old feels that they are ready to have sex, they should, it should be their choice. Not that somebody's influencing them to do it. For example, my son has a girlfriend, he's 16, I think she's 15 or something like that. And when she comes to visit, literally my son's door is open. Is it open? And then I would walk onto them unannounced. And I say to my son, if somebody does, if you have a little sister and she goes to a boy's house and stay over after six o'clock, what would you do? I'll be mad. So I would let the girl go. Um, home before six o'clock and I do everything possible because with the men it's easy another thing we have to also be careful when we have we should know as a young women having sex it takes only one sperm to make you pregnant mm -hmm. and then that can ruin your life forever so that's what I'm saying if you're ready you should know the consequences too to what your, your actions that you know because there's um, consequences to actions so feel ready don't be peer pressured mm -hmm and 
Enjoy it. But Mama, you see right now we are at a stage where we are having 13 year olds have babies. Yeah, children having children. Exactly. Now, Those are accidents. Those are accidents. I think so. You call them accidents. Yeah, I don't think a 13 year old in their rightful mind will go and say, oh, I'm having sex to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's a mistake. It's um, the, the person not being educated mm -hmm. also. Because you can yeah. still, you can use protect, um, you, you, you can protect yourself. And it, it, because there's no education on that, you have that problem. So I don't think a, a 13 year old girl would just stand up and say, oh, I want to. No. And sometimes it's also robbed of them. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, most of them. Yeah. So another thing, mm -hmm. why do mothers, fathers always think they are right? Like, can oh, yes, we people are. give? Oh, we are. Okay, he, you, you see, she just took oh, it yes, out. Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. She just, Oh, yes, okay. yes, 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 we are. Oh, okay, okay. We are. It is our right. So, oh, oh, okay. So it's not even that. You, there's no reason. It's uh, is my right. Oh, okay. To know that I am right. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> is it because of the experiences you have, or is it because you are always right? <laughs> okay, I don't know about other mothers. I can talk for myself <laughs> that I mother a few a few people, including my own biological children, including my husband. I mother everyone. Okay. Um, I feel like it is. I need you to. I need anybody that you choose to mother or anybody that you're mothering, you need to have a, a, a form of um, um, education yourself mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that you're always right. So the things that Troy will come up to me or some of you guys will come up to me and ask, I will be like, oh, I don't know. Let's mm -hmm. find out. And if I know, I definitely might have had an experience with it. So mm -hmm. that makes me right. Yeah, but uh, to some extent, I'm going to get a little personal. Mm. Have you noticed that anytime I call you, mm. there's something you do. In as much as I call you to complain about somebody, mm. you're like, oh, you did this. Sometimes you make me feel like, okay, Debbie, you didn't do this right. Of course, you played a part. Yeah, yeah, of course. She, she's, she's always right. Next question. <laughs> Listen, she's right. <laughs> this question. <laughs> Listen, next question. No, oh, Debbie, Debbie. No, listen. Mama. By the way, these questions are not from Debbie. Also, it's it's from all of you guys yeah. that want to know certain questions you can yeah. ask your mom. Yeah. <laughs> so, does losing the virginity hurt? I wouldn't know. Okay. Move on to the next question. Thank you. She's always right. Remember, the, the best answer to give you is I. I wouldn't. I don't know. I wouldn't know because. That's the shortest answer. So please yeah. take this as the answer. I'm, I'm actually <laughs> taking it. I, I wanted to know something. So yeah. If your girl child should walk up to mm -hmm. you and tell you that, okay, mama, I find somebody, would you be worried? Would you ask her, hey, have you checked the size of the penis? Oh, Does oh, it oh, matter? Oh. That conversation, I believe, hey, Jesus, I'm going to get myself into trouble. Well, we are unfiltered, uncensored, unapologetic. Mm -hmm. I believe you should not buy something that you don't know how it works. Good job. So, Mama, we check. need to cheers to that because... Check, check, check if the merchandise that you're getting mm -hmm. is yours. So You know, I, I know somebody who got married. Um, she was a virgin and her parents forced her to get married. And then when she got married later, she got to know that the thing didn't work. It was so small. And they divorced like in three months. When she called me, I was like, listen, you need a confidence in your life. Thank you. You should have checked. No, she didn't check, but you, you know, should, then again. You should know how the machine works. You then know? again, we come back to the religion aspect of yes. life where people would say certain things. But I realized I, with you, I'm not religious you like at the, all. Yeah, you like the experiences, yes. the truth about yeah. life. And experiences are totally different. Yes. So you can you can you can say, Oh, confidence says that is this way. But mm -hmm. this is what I'm finding. But mm -hmm. at the same time, let me take her her um, experience on board. I I think that to be <laughs> you nowadays you want to mother people, you need to be a cool mother. You guys need anything? Some snacks? A condom? Let me know. Yeah. Because if you're not cool, nowadays though, nobody's going to I I can't use the way my mother or my father brought me up. Now, it's a cake. 
is old. Yeah. You're not going to get the people. You're not going to get the, the person you, you want to, you know, have that conversation, your mother. But then if um, you're cool, it's yeah. easier. Yeah. It's easier to talk to that person. Yeah. Or it's easier to talk to your mom. And I talk to my son every day. You, so you know, it was thing. until I started, I got to know you that I started being like a better person to my mom, my, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Because my mom is like... Uh, it's fire. My mom is... I won't say judgmental. Evelyn always has something to say. Oh yes, mothers, we always do. Please, don't get this wrong. Because I don't say it, that doesn't mean they are not finding anything wrong. Yeah. Mothers but always do. But even you, Mama, you say it. Yeah, yeah. mothers, it's, it's, you, it's you so... Say, you say it to me, like mm. there's a way you say it. So I, I, I remember my daughter came from school some few weeks ago, and then I was trying to educate her about boys. And the next day she was like, oh, what dear Jaisa? And she's 14. And I was <laughs> oh, like, Oh, come on, she's old. And I was like, Please. Yeah, and I was like, Mimi. She was like, Mommy, you know how I like you. She calls me Coolio <laughs> because you're a Coolio. Yeah. And she complains about a few things. Mm -hmm. And I was like, It was someone that actually taught me. Now that, that brings you to the in position the in people's lives because you get to let us understand, accept certain things for what they are. Talk about things we don't normally discuss with our typical, friends, traditional mothers, mothers yeah. and, and friends. And maybe we would get the same um, answers that we will get in anywhere. You know, if you're talking to me, for me, I would give you my experience based on what I've gone through mm -hmm. and based on what I've experienced. Experience is man's best teacher. And I hope there is a few people out there like me that would honestly tell you, not sugarcoat it, Mm -hmm. and not think about it as in, oh, this is going to come out wrongly. If that person you're saying it to loves you, and the person knows that you love them, there is no reason you do anything to hurt them, you should be blunt. I believe in bluntness. So are you trying to tell us you tell us the truth because you love us? Yes. I'm a pain. See, when you start seeing my phone call in three days, over and over and over, be worried. Yeah, it's true, actually. It, it means that there's some fire brewing somewhere. Y yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So if you're around me, if I don't love you, you can't be around me. Yeah. Because if you love me, that's when you're going to tr tolerate me. If you love me, that's when you're going to have regard for me. If I love you, I'm going to have regard for you. If I love you, so it's, it's hand give and hand go. So everyone in my life or I nag, I know they love me and they know I love them. Okay, now, I think everybody should just make sure they are following this because it's getting beautiful, trust me now. Here's the real deal, uh -huh. okay. As a mother, mm -hmm. okay, what role do you think you have played in our lives? Oh, correcting you, okay. putting you in the right path, um, making you not to do mistakes that I have made, which I made a lot. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes. Um, and, and be a, some form of guide, guidance, give you some form of guidance. It's not easy, you know, it's not easy to have a family, put things together and be a mother and, and grow. It's not easy to grow. And especially when you're growing and you have the right people around you to kind of influence your choices. I, 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 I advise you based on, I'm not saying it is my way or the highway, but I want to influence your judgment. Yeah. So while, before you make that, Ooh, what, what would my God think about this? Yeah. Mm, she'll have a fit? No. Okay. She'll just listen. Okay. So it, 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 it's not like, it's not like I, I, I advise because I want to control. No. I advise because I want to influence your judgment. Yeah, That's but more I, like I, it. I, I, personally, I think you, you advise because you want people to try. You know, I, I've spoken to a lot of people. Best. I've be the spoken best of them, to yeah. a couple of people that are broadly celebrated in this country. Mm -hmm. And when you talk to them, you realize that um, I'm very sorry to say they don't really know how to advise people. Because they haven't lived a life. You are that person that would tell somebody to stay to learn, to understand what life is mm. about. You and there's to. one thing you do that you don't know. You always ask people, do you want to? Yeah, it's, 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 it's important. Yeah. If I advise you, I need to ask, do you understand me? Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to it's stay? Important. It's important. It's very, very important. So if you say to me, no, I want to leave, oh, that's how I'm going to advise you based on that. 
Yeah. If you if you say I want to stay or I want another result, then I'll advise you based on that because I can't just give you an advice and just expect that you just take it without reasoning or whether it doesn't feel good with you. So it has to be, do you understand? Do yeah. you want to? Okay, so mama, I want to know, have you ever thought about telling us like the truth about marriage before we get into it? I especially your girl children yes so i'm taking I, it back i have a lot of girls but they are matured they're older girls okay so i wouldn't refer to but them but we are still big babies <laughs> we call you like 2 a.m <laughs> but i wouldn't refer to you guys as a girl child no listen you know i feel like um a girl child is always going to be that yeah, child. child yeah you know you, you you're still going to be kissing us you're still going to be opening your arms opening your doors for some reasons you've done well with it Mm. Have you ever sat down to probably, you have seen a lot of us get like into relationships. You've seen a lot of girls go through marriage, make sure they stayed in their marriage. And that is what Ghanaians don't know. Like you make sure people stay. If it is money, you fix it. If it is advice, you do whatever you can to fix things. And sometimes I'm like, okay, have you ever thought about telling people the truth about it? Whenever I advise you based on marriage, it's exactly what it is. With girl, I would always say that any, any answer that I give you when you ask me a question or you ask me for advice or even when you don't ask me for advice and I give you one, which I do a lot, <laughs> um, it is the way I see it. Especially when you come to relationship. I've known my, my husband knows how I take he knows what can come out of my mouth. He knows what to do, and I know what to do. We've gotten to know each other so well that sometimes I look at him and I know that he's in pain or he's angry about some, something. We talk about it, we fix it. So with marriages, sometimes it could be little things like work. I remember sometime um, I was having problems with Afro and I was the most impossible human being to deal with. And he said, okay, let's pause. Do you want to continue with us? No, close it. So it's always important. So for us, you have a supportive partner. You should always try to work it out. Yeah, I, I you think always one try of the to things you, you always say is if, if the person wants you to grow, then, then with why them. not? Yeah. So why is it that most African parents don't really tell their children, I love you? Okay. Um, I don't think it's, it's got anything to do with African. It's got to do with how you were brought up. I'm sure that there are Caucasian homes or European homes that also they were not taught to say, I love you. So I, I think it's, it's something that is more, because our mothers, our African mothers, they do show us they love us, but it might not be the word I love you, but they do. You know, I'll show you, I'll give you a typical example. You know, when your mom calls your full name, discipline you and then you're the next person and say oh go to the pot look at it that meat in the corner the fat one is for I you i kept it for you that is love okay so she didn't have to say it but you know sometimes when you voice it out it's special because i remember real talk that was the first time somebody apart from somebody i don't know told me i love you and it really meant a lot because sometimes you know you are at a point where you just need that to say I love you. You just need to I, say I think, it. listen, 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 listen. I'm a very straightforward person. I think it is because for us as um, Africans, it's also because we've been watching too many TV that you see I love you is the easiest thing to be said. I love okay. you. I love you. So you want someone to say it. Okay. Now we use the word I love you without even meaning it without even knowing how special these three words are. So everyone, every, I, I, I believe strongly in every uh, group of people, there, there is culture. I don't think in our culture, we, were, we our parents were thought to say, I love you in words, but they were thought in action. in action. So that's why when we do something bad, they're gonna beat us, it's gonna scold us, because I, I remember a few times when they would say, if I don't discipline you in the house, you're going to bring problems from outside. Yeah. <laughs> Our parents, come on. My mom showed me she loved me. Yeah. She didn't yeah. have to say it. Yeah, her own beautiful and, way. Yeah, in her own way, she did. I'm sure your mom does that. And 
other homes, they might not show it, but they will say it. Yeah. For example, yeah. my son, my oldest son, Troy doesn't say he loves me. I believe also it's the child. Is that my son, the little one, it doesn't matter. He needs to uh, finish all his statements with me, with I love you. I can be sitting down here ranting and just kiss me and say, I say, I love you. Yes, that is fine because that is, he's doing, he's, he's doing his way of saying I love you. Mm -hmm. Everybody have a different way of saying I love Same. you. So our parents have a, a way of saying I, I love you too. Yeah. Okay. I want to know, okay, we have, um, we've noticed there's a crazy world. It is. I want to know how did you survive this world without thinking of committing suicide, being depressed? Oh, that, see, you see, that is a lie. That's a lie. Okay, that's why I like you. Yeah, that's a lie. I've tried two times, so that's a lie. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm looking at you. You know why I'm looking at you? No, Mama, listen, I'm looking at you because, you know, you, you know, you know, I, 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 I am confused. I'm not confused. I don't know what to say because you know, you fix people. <laughs> then when you said it right now, I'm asking myself, who is fixing the person <laughs> who, who fixes, fixes us? us. No, you. I just, no, I'm, I just, I, 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 I just noticed that, okay. Now I believe that's God. And, yeah. and every day God shows me he's alive. He's, he, that's God. So you, 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 you know, this is news to me. Mm. I've I, never seen I, you broken. You are oh. always that. You are always the pillar. Mm. You are always I, that. I person. get broken. I get broken. I've been. I think um, I've been broken a few times, and I've learned how to mend myself. So now every every time I'm broken, it's easier to mend myself. If that makes sense. Okay. So if you are not ready to talk about it, I I I, I respect. But that then that doesn't mean. This is what I would say. On that. Trying to commit suicide or trying to end it is a healthy thing, but it needs to be uh, looked at very properly when I say that, okay? Mm. <laughs> okay. Every human being do have a moment that is like, I am done. When you think about that, the actions that you take is very important. It's okay to say you're done. It's okay to try and do something about it. But it's not okay to try and rob, not try, yeah, try. Try and rob your loved ones of yourself. If that makes sense. It, it, it makes yourself. a lot of sense to me because- if you, Yeah, you're going to, you, you're going to rob your, li your loved ones of you. Yes, at that moment, a split moment, it's all about you, 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 you have to, you have, Oh, what kind, what kind of embarrassment is this? Oh, I wonder, the always, the always would say, Majiba, Anibana, Ma, Agaremo. You see that moment? You just that want the earth to split so you can just... Yeah, it's very important it. to... It, it, I think when you get to that moment, that is where growth really happens. That is, when you get to that moment, that is when growth really happens for me. That's, that's what I think. So it's not something that is likely that I'll, I'll talk about it, but... One day, we'll talk about I, it. I actually think nobody should rob me of that question. Nobody, be it CNN, nobody should rob me. And after talking to you, the only thing I would honestly say is um, cheers to all the sacrifices you have made for us. <laughs> oh, come on. Because I think you have <laughs> sacrificed a lot of things to make us happy, and it's because you are not a selfish person. It looks empty. Yeah, it needs to be filled because Glass, we can never have another super mom in this country. You have always been that <laughs> super mom. Yes. So let's cheers to you. Thank you for everything you do. And then please, You're guys, welcome. if you have more questions for her, <laughs> slide into her DM. <laughs> oh, no, actually, that, that, that's that, 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 I, Okay, if you slide to my DM, that's a bad. Just leave a comment. We'll read a yeah. comment. Because yeah, if you slide you should. To, you yeah, should. You should. I'm you should. really, really bad with social media. Yeah, so just drop a comment, a especially yeah. on um, Confidence on Cat. Cat. Yes, you should that drop is, a, yeah. I think that is where most people should, because that's where she would be able to avail sorry, herself yeah. to us. So <laughs> thank you. We appreciate you, You're Mommy. You're welcome, my darling. Thank you, Miss Debbie, so much. Thank you so, so much for coming. Thank you, Mama. Some of your... Um,
You've actually, ex I feel like you've actually exposed me. <laughs> no, I, I have not exposed you. Yes, you me. have, darling. Yes, you have. <laughs> Sitting, like you, no one, no one asked me in a conversation two questions that I'm not able to answer. No. Well done on that one. Whoever sent the message, yeah. Whoever sent those two messages that, that I that, can't. That was not sent. That was brood. That was you. That was brood. Yeah, that's, that, that's cute questions. And um, I'm really grateful that you were here to ask me. And I hope that I gave you guys my unfiltered, unsensored, and all unapologetic uh, advice. You know what to do. Follow us on all our social media platforms. Confidence on Cat, on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Snapchat and Twitter, or you can follow me, Moi Confidence, on all my social media uh, platforms. And well, I, put, I post pictures, I post lifestyle, I post a few things, <laughs> quotes also I do post. And make sure that you tune in every Friday at 8 p.m. That's the time we drop new videos, okay? Thank you so much for being part of this family. Stay blessed, stay healthy, and stay beautiful. Bye bye. Bye. Oh no, you just. Oh, no, she just killing. She just killed. I didn't see. Sorry. We need a cat thought here. Make sure you stay beautiful, you stay safe, and stay blessed. See you in another video. That is somewhere there. But then for now, bye bye. Bye. <laughs>